When the stars make you drool Just like Basrava Zool at Samore When you dance down the street With the clouds at your feet You're in love you can get the real Rat Pack experience with Sandy Hackett's Rat Pack Show. And joining us this morning, Sandy Hackett and his lovely wife, Lisa. Hello, good morning to you both. Good We're morning. Here. Good morning. Thank also, the producer us. of the show, Lisa. <laughs> really? I travel so, with the boss. So you do what she says. In other <laughs> <words>. Exactly. <laughs> the, the show is going to be at Andiamo's this weekend. Uh, tell us what's involved. Go ahead, boss. You start. <laughs> um, it's a... It's not a tribute show. We are a theatrical production okay. that gives the audience a real feel of what it would have been like to see these guys live. And God sends them back. God is portrayed by Sandy's father, Buddy Hackett, who recorded the voiceovers first before he passed away. Uh, he sends the Rat Pack back to do one last show. Modern day. Modern day. So they come back in their prime, but they come back to today so we can pick up a lot of the current events. So I'm sure oh, many that's cool. local that's a novel events. <laughs> and we have original music in the show from Lisa's father, Ron Miller, who worked here in Detroit for Motown, one of America's great songwriters. He wrote for Once in My Life. Life. For Once in My Life, Touch Me in the Morning, Place in the Sun, Have an Elvis All. And we've got an original song, several original songs that Ron wrote that are in the show. Ron passed away a few years ago, but uh, Will I Still Be Me, a song that he did, wrote for a musical about Louis Armstrong that Sammy sings. And uh, we created a character for Lisa called Frank Swan Love based on the Frank Sinatra, Ava Gardner relationship. And there's a couple of pretty heavy-duty torch songs in there between the two of them. And I have to get in there every night and break them up before <laughs> it gets too heavy. It was a tough job. I know, Nobody wanted to do it, so I you know, took one for the team. We've had other couples on that have never sat as close. <laughs> you guys are all, <laughs> you're claiming, you're, you're, yeah, that's my wife right there. <laughs> I heard about you. <laughs> so what was like uh, growing up with a famous father, especially Buddy Hackett? Uh, it was great. My dad was, I actually have a one-man show about my father called My Buddy that we're launching. We've actually already launched. We'll be in Florida in January, so we'll be having two concurrent productions going, our Rat Pack show and the My Buddy, and we're working on a new project about Lisa's father. She's doing a documentary about her father and his music, and that'll be a, a new musical coming soon called. Uh, for Once in My Life, the great American Ron Miller songbook. Excellent. And, you know, for every For Once in My Life he wrote, there were a hundred songs that no one ever heard. And I would love to bring about those songs. We found 400 of them. Really? And two of them are in our show. An incredible story. One of the first Motown songwriters. And this is one of the first time, uh, first time I've been back to Detroit in a long time. Well, welcome. We're glad you're Thank here. Thank you. I'm glad. I was born I'm, here in Motown. The reason I'm sitting close to is I notice on camera all the time, they always go to the pretty face. So if I can get <laughs> close, I have a shot to get in here. Here we see the show times. Uh, tell us about the actors who play Frank, Dean, and Sammy. Uh, Frank Sinatra played by an actor named Danny Gruen from San Francisco. Uh, the actor who plays, you just showed uh, playing, uh, is a Detroit native. Uh, Tom Wallach plays Dean Martin. Okay. And he also understudies me as Joey. But I was doing Joey all the time, so he says, can I do Dean? And so uh, Tom is a wonderful talent. And then for Sammy Davis Jr. is Louis Velez, who actually, they did a movie about the Rat Pack many years ago, and they used Louis's voice to do all the singing for Sammy. Oh, wow. Incredible music director, also from Detroit, Ryan Rose, incredible technical director, Mark Matson, uh, who travels with us. So we're very excited to be in Detroit. There we are. Look at that. <laughs> that looks like an exciting show to mount. It, it's... it must be a big challenge. It, well, you know, it's it's a comfort zone because we've been doing it a long time. Joey Bishop was Uncle Joey. You asked yeah. about, you know, being Buddy Hackett's son. He was a great father, and I've got a one-man show about him that had, tells stories. I see you got a picture of Johnny Carson over there, and a lot of that is my dad was had more performances on The Tonight Show as a comedian than any other comedian. Really? Yes. Well, there's... I did not know that. <laughs> I, 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 I didn't know that. Ed, why don't you tell him what you want? <laughs> uh, now, selfishly, I told you before the show that, that Mad, 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 Mad World is one of my all-time favorite movies. Oh, that's uh, not selfish. That's gracious of you. Thank you. Uh, give, give me an inside story from the set that maybe somebody doesn't know that, that your father Mad told World? you. Mad World? Yeah. Um, there's a shot where you, you said about the, the scene you were talking about, but there was a shot where Spencer Tracy was actually uh, very ill, and it was his last film. And he, they thought he wouldn't be able to really finish the film. They didn't know. But he came one day to work, and it was nothing but nonstop hilarity. I mean, Jonathan Winters would start off every day with an hour of just goofing right. off. So Spencer Tracy showed up every day to work, whether he was shooting or not. And he had this thing where he used to do a little silly, you know, 
<laughs> he put his tongue in his cheek when he when he spoke. If you watch him, so Stanley Kramer's in the hole, looking up at everybody, looking around, and my dad was doing Stanley uh, doing uh, Spencer, Spencer Tracy, Tracy going, <laughs> and Stanley Kramer's going, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you don't go, just, uh, Rick, get the drop ready. If you don't go to see the show, then you can. May you just. Dropped dead. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we have to say to you if you don't, don't go to the show on I love Saturday. That. That's I believe you used a clip of me just to promote my kid. You. <laughs> November 23rd at 8 p.m. Sunday, November 24th, 7 p.m. on Diemo Showroom. Warren, thank you both for being here, Sandy. Thank you Lisa. for having us. We don't want to leave. We want to stay and do other things. Well, why don't you hang out? We'll do match game. You want to do match game? Let's do it. I already it. have a match. <laughs> All right. We'll, we'll we say anyway. All right, okay. Well, coming back after this, we're going to play our version of Match Game, What the Blank. I'll change into my Gene Rayburn coat. Yeah. <laughs>